welcome to my new uh, Fallout 4 playthrough. Uh, you see in the last episode I did, which was looking at the Nexus Collections, um, how all my thoughts and feelings on that. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. So this playthrough is based on the collection by Martin. I want to say a massive thank you for that. Right. I have made a few changes of my own. I'm just gonna quickly flick over and show you what's going on. So I've added in, added in an E and B, which is vivid. Um, I do recommend this one because it's nice and easy to install. You can actually install it through Mod Manager. Um, I've added some uh, character replacers for Kate Curry and Piper. Added in amazing follower tweaks. Miscellaneous hairstyles, which is an off off a non Nexus um, mod. Overhauled my synths because they actually look quite good. Um, there's a few other little bits and pieces which I've added to his collection as well. Oh. So it's now running at 377 mods. I've only added about 20 in. So what I'm going to do is build my character. My turn, big guy. And I'm going to show you this all the way through to leave the vault because one of the mods, and again I've not explored all of the mods he's added in. Uh, this is a, a mod that I've downloaded, Don EB14 and Girls uh, preset. And I just want to change her hair as well because one of the mods that he's added in, which, as I was saying, um, I've not explored them all yet, it um, skips out all the beginning se sections. Oh, that one. Look as beautiful as the day we met. Oh, you're too kind. Okay, so from this bit, we are literally going to go. I'm not going to spoil it. Straight to this bit. I've got to think of a name now. I am going to call her for anything better. And the first word that comes to my head, don't ask me why, Terry. And what I normally do is just evenly put these between all of the different. Just for now. There we go. And then. It goes straight to when you're leaving the vault. So it makes it excellent if you're um, testing out mods. Okay, so this is a, an add on. It's a new weapon, which I've not actually seen or tried yet. So I'm going to add that in. Uh, some amazing follower tweaks. Gonna get a lot of menus pop up now. You can see in the top left hand corner as well. So I'm just gonna give them a half a minute to run. Now the uh, the collection did add in an awful lot of uh, new quests. One of uh, quests and items. So this one here, this is the Vault Tech Tidy Bot. So we just go ahead and gather these while it's loading in all the other bits and pieces. You can see, look at that, it's list after list. Just collect these quick. This is for the Vault Tech Tidy Bot. It does fade out. Oh, I thought my game was broken the first of all when I found this. It gives you a little bit about the Mr. Tidy and how he works. Uh, which I'm not going to bore you with and read it all, and it's found under structures. Okay, so that's it for up here, and now we've got loads of mods, uh, loads of mods, loads of quests. So I've got Travel to Sanctuary Hills for another one, we've got the Wild Goose Chase, Out Time, Kelly Manor, Unfinished Deal, Blast from the Past, which is Find a Cult 6520, which is... All the way, all the way, all the way down over here. But Diamond City's here, so it's very close to Diamond City. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut away and I'll meet you at Codsworth, I think. Okay, just going to quickly uh, well, skip through the um, right. talking scenes a little. Uh, with Codsworth, because we've all seen this a hundred times. In a better I'm sure. Place. Oh, mum, these things you're saying, these, these 
We are going to go and get Heather on this um, playthrough as well. Right, once we've um, finished with Codsworth, uh, just over here is another part of the Mr. Tidy bot. And this is Mr. Savage bot. I don't know why I've given the title Mr. It just seems, seems ad apt. And again, it's another fade away. Which, if you're not expecting to get my safety characters broken. <laughs> We'll give it a minute to come back. We can just gather the rest of the um, items. Okay, so for the next bit, I need to go to the workbench. Okay, so we'll take the uh, Robco Backyard Robotics first. <laughs> Got me took in there and I picked up. Okay, so one of the other mods that's installed is I'll show you. All comes under uh, miscellaneous and settings, it's raised my settlement. This is kind of like a scrap all. I think this is a little bit safer to use than scrap all. So you can gather everything, all the loose stuff, but you can raise everything as well. You've got to own the settlement first, which means using the um, workbench for the first time. So if we stand and watch, let me zoom out a little bit, get maximum amount of um, buying you buying it. No, maximum amount of uh, game on the screen. You can see you see things are starting to disappear. Top left hand corner is telling you uh, how many items it's um, it's cleared. when you're in a big settlement like sanctuary you know i don't know about you guys but it takes me ages to go around and scrap everything one thing at a time this might feel a bit like cheating but personally i see it as a time saver if you've played the game loads of times you see all the items going they're going to the trees in a minute once it's done these 1318 items Here go the trees. There we go. So that's everything scrapped. So I'll say everything. It only does um, scrap things added by the vanilla game. So in this mod list, and again, I've got to find out what does it. You can scrap the debris, which is actually pretty cool. That's giving me concrete you can scrap the leaf piles which is giving me fertilizer i don't know why i say it like that i see fertilizer in a west country accent because they're not all farmers down there so as i said it's only stuff that's been added in by the mods anywho that's not what i want to do so now these robots are under structures We've got two miscellaneous uh, folders here. One with an M, one with a plus. One with a plus. So we've got Mr. Salvage station pad. <laughs> Sounds like some sort of weird space invaders. And I don't have enough concrete, so... Just going to go and find some debris to scrap so I can get some concrete. <laughs> That is probably enough. Yeah, so Mr. Tidy. Now you have to wait for him to make a billy bib noise before you can carry on. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to uh, carry on salvaging some of the leaves and the and the debris that it allows me to, to scrap. 
You also scrap the vines on the walls and some of the porches as well. So this porch here, I can actually scrap it. Okay, so the Mr. Salvage, uh, you can set the size of settlement, give them some salvage options. Uh, for some reason, it's all set to not. So I found I had to go through and just change all of these uh, to not not, not not, to not not. So I'm just going to quickly do now. Uh, you can set the salvage defaults. So for all new ones. So that you don't have to keep going in and changing the settings here every single time. So again, I'm just going to quickly um, change that quick. And then you can just be giving the salvaging. Mr. Tidy, he fills stuff in his chest, obviously, and again, he's got the same sort of um, options. Uh, but what he does, he goes looks for bodies and stray weapons and gathers the items out of them. So we're going to tidy everything within scan range, I think. Set up tight scan range, long range scan. Noble auto scan and then begin tidying. So, even though I've sort of scrapped everything and made him a bit redundant, we'll leave him there. So, let's hop on over to uh, Red Rocket, get dog meat, again to Sanctuary. So, what this would do is it's distributing the uh, X12 weapons, I was set for full distribution there. So it's going to go to the Brotherhood of Steel and the Gunners. I was going to say we should have the other one, which is uh, the AER-15. Um, and then you can have one in your inventory if you want, but I don't want one. Because you only get, uh, tried it out, you get, and the same with the AR-15, you get like one round of ammunition, when you end up carrying a gun that's got no ammo. When you come into Concord as well, you'll find this trader here, uh, named Lace. She's got a couple of guns on the back on a backpack. Hey, um, this is pretty much right here. all that she sells sure. is backpacks. Let's take a look. Oh, she's got some 45 rounds, so basically it's backpacks, different types, with different uh, weapons on them. Um, but it is cosmetic, it doesn't actually come with the weapons. But I don't want one of those, so I'm not going to buy one. But I do want to take these raiders out, so I'm going to go and do that, I think. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. Hmm. Well, hmm. looks like one of it. Sure, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Minigun. <laughs> now we're talking. I know. Why don't you get down here? Show me that shirt.
since you say that. Maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I... Well, I'm not going to lie. I don't really want the cameras to go through the main quest again. Um, but I did want to show you quickly this waiting sleeping menu that's been added in. So you can set the time that you want to wait or sleep to. I'm actually going to wait. You can set it by day, so we can wait 145 hours, which yeah, it's a bit pointless. Uh, I'm going to wait until quarter past six in the morning when it starts getting light, because I'm going to go and get Heather. Sounds good. Fan fucking tastic. The name's Kasdan. Heather Kasdan. Been on the road my whole life. Been training with weapons my whole life. If something is going on in the Commonwealth, I know about it. Traders love to gossip. Okay, so now we've got Heather. Let's head on over to miles away. Here's look for Colt 6520. So I'm probably going to duck around this way, try and follow this road around. Oh, so I'm nearly where I need to be, and things are just getting a little bit aerated. And try and make it inside this building before I get eaten by something. Ellie, you need to get your eyes open, love. I was uh, nearly edge your legs in. So in here should be a Cult 45 Vault Tech Regional Headquarters. Not sure as I've been in here before. And we want to go down. So I wonder if this takes us down. Oh! Magazine here. Flirt magazine. Nice. Sex pill perk level up. Plus 10% bonus on persuading any humans in dialogue. I should love that. It all helps. <laughs> I'll tell you, let's try using the elevator or the lift. Might take us down. Basement. Well, there we go. One Colt 6520. Am I for it? Ooh, it's not coming. That doesn't seem very good. So have I completed that quest? Yes. Oh, I'll find the RU556. Listen to Vault 111 distress signal. I'll have to use that on another, yeah, another time. So that is. Can't activate that. Doesn't appear to do a lot. <laughs> Loads of toilets here. So now I'm looking at this Colt 6520. Uh, so how does that compare to the 10 mil? That's calibrated, tactical, does 18 damage. It does 25 damage to be fair. Can't get a good look at it though. That's well, something different isn't it to the old 10 mil. Uh, OSX isn't it, inspect. Looks right. Well, it looks like it's still got bad weather, so it's not foggy, it's absolutely pitting down with rain. 
Um, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. I've got a load of scraps to take back to my settlement. Got a new gun which I can't use. It's great. I've got Heather as a companion. And we're going to lose, lose dog meat, I think. I don't know why, but I just don't like the, don't like the idea of travelling with him and having him get hurt. I don't mind if the people get hurt, I just don't like it when the dog gets hurt. You know, it's kind of glitching about all over the place at the moment. Um, well, I'm happy with the way my game looks, and I can't, haven't really been able to show it off, uh, show it to its full extent with the EMB working. Um, but I will save that for the next episode. We'll have a little run around outside in the sunshine, seeing how things are looking then. All right, then, things. Oh, the jangles the moon monkey. So yeah, that'll do for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you do, please give my video a like. I really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel as well. And until next episode, where we will be not following the main storyline, but looking at some of the new ones added in. Thank you for joining me, and see you again soon. Take care now. Bye-bye. Alright, come on, let's go home.